At the end of the last tutorial, we were left asking ourselves, how many frames do we need in order to show all of our content for the audience? Let's think about this for a minute by viewing what we created last time. Each of the squares on the screen will eventually lead us to a different part of our portfolio, a specific area study. For this demonstration, each area study will showcase two images by the time we are finished with this project. Now the question becomes, how do we accomplish smooth transitions from one frame to the next? The answer for that question would be keyframes. Keyframes are known as drawings that define the starting and ending points of any smooth transition. They are measured in an increment called frames because of their position and time is measured by frames on a strip of film. So how do we know when a keyframe is applied to a specific frame? If you look inside of frame 1 on any of our layers at the time being, you will see a black circle in the middle. The exception to this would be the background layer as you will likely only see a blank circle with no fill. The reason being is because although the background layer does have a keyframe, the blank circle is describing to us that there is no content that resides on that specific frame at the moment. All of our content so far has been applied on the text and graphics layer, as you can note again with the little black circle that is on the frames for those layers. Now that we understand what keyframes are and how to define if we have any on our current timeline, let's create a new keyframe that will make the duration of our timeline expand. Hold down the shift key and left click the mouse on the bottom layer, followed by selecting the top layer. This should select all of them in a row. After having them all selected, take your mouse to the frame 30 while still holding the shift key down and left click on the frame. This will make all layers selected ranging out to frame 30. Now you can let go of the shift key and all you have to do is right click on frame 30 with your mouse, hover over the option insert keyframe and left click on it. By doing so you will notice that a keyframe is still shown on frame 1 of all the layers, but now you will also see a keyframe exists on frame 30 of all the layers. The long gray area you see between the keyframes that eventually leads up to a little rectangle icon is telling us that the same attributes from the prior keyframe is applied to all of these frames. Therefore, whatever we had created on the first keyframe is now expanded down to frame 29 without any alteration. Frame 30 at the moment also doesn't have any alteration because we haven't changed anything on it yet. Now that we learn how to expand the timeline, we understand the definition of keyframes and how we can utilize them for a beginning introduction. Let's go on to the next lesson, which will be using keyframes on multiple layers in order to have a smoother workflow and better organization.